Hey guys, Corey Jones here, Garden Girl with Two Piece at a Bucket, and I'm here to welcome you back to another episode of 213 and 2013, the Monday video series where by the end of 2013, you'll have 213 creative prompts to inspire you to scrapbook. I'm not a very good scrapbook shopper. Usually what I do is just throw things into my cart over at Two Peas, and then when I get the box home, I wonder how I got all the things that I got because they don't necessarily go together. But I was really excited with my last box that I got. Um, everything seemed to work together, and so that was really the inspiration for me to start this page. I just decided that I was going to use the things that I had just purchased. So I'm going to start with these uh, new mists from Studio Calico, enamel dots from Freckled Fawn, all these great thickers from American Crafts. Of course, the great exclusive paper clips. I think these things are just fabulous. So I got four different colors. I'm gonna use those. And then this stencil from Prima. So now I'm excited about my products and I love the color scheme, but I don't actually have any photos that this is necessarily gonna work with that are ready. I could probably tweak some, but I didn't really feel like looking for it. So it leads me to my first prompt, which is just to use black and white photos. Using black and white photos is a great way to be able to use the products that you use and still scrapbook the pictures you wanna see. Also, she had these bright, red flowers on the outfit she was wearing and that's definitely not a color I would put on a beach page so it was perfect to go ahead and change these into black and white. So now prompt number two is to put a paper clip in the middle of your page. These little star paper clips are really just too cute just to have on the edges of my page so I definitely want to figure out a way to get them in the middle of the page. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just start by throwing them around, seeing where I like them. Of course, some of them are going to work perfectly on the edges of my photos. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those squared away right away. And look how great they are. They're just so cute. When I was trying to pick out the colors that I wanted of these paper clips, I actually had to just stop myself for a minute because I think I had every single color in my cart <laughs> and what was I going to do with 8 million paper clips but they're just so adorable I just wanted to keep them keep buying more and more so now that I've got them kind of squared away I figured washi tape is going to be a great way now I'm not going to tape them down I'm actually going to just sort of mark their spot with um, pieces of washi tape because I want a little extra color on this page besides just the greens and blues and grays. And none of this washi tape was something that I got new. These, This is all a little bit older product um, that I had around, all from Freckled Fawn. Uh, but you know, washi tape is almost a tool to me. You, It just goes on forever and ever, it seems. So it's easy to hang on to and, and reuse. And in small doses, you don't really get sick of it, so it's great. As you can see, there's really no rhyme or reason to why I'm putting the colors where I am. I'm just trying to get them spread out across the page so that I've got a nice variety of color sprinkled around the page beside, behind these um, little paper clips. And now it's really time to get the paper clips stuck down so that they're not floating all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna use my craft knife and I'm going to cut small slits uh, right around or right into my washi tape. The washi tape's gonna be great because it's just gonna kind of give a little extra reinforcement um, to the paper so it won't rip. And then I'm gonna be able to stick my little paper clips right inside the page. If the slits aren't too big, you're not gonna see too much of a little gap, but I was really actually okay with seeing the little bit of a gap because I just think that it's gonna be great to be able to use um, this type of embellishment just pretty much anywhere. Something that was fun about this little embellishment was that there's the inner star and the outer star on each of the paper clips. So you could actually, it was fun because I could make it so either the larger star was on top or the smaller star was on top. So it makes it even a little bit uh, more versatile. 
So once I was done with all the little slits, I just flipped it over and to just kind of reinforce the paper clips a little bit more, I went ahead and just scotch taped the back of them down. Didn't want those just popping out whenever they felt like it. To add a little extra blue to my page, I decided that I would just add a few droplets of mist. And then it was really time for me to start putting my page together. I went ahead and got my pictures back out. I realized watching the video back over that I put them in a different order than I had originally thought. Usually what I'll do is I'll use my phone and I'll just take a picture of how I've got my page laid out so that I can reference back to it. Um, and I didn't do that this time. So things were a little bit different than I had originally planned, but I think it worked out just fine. I wanted to go ahead and make sure I got her little initials on the page. She asked me one day why I do this and I had to try and explain it to her but she didn't get it uh, about how I just wanted to make sure that you know I always know which kid is which. She thought that was funny. And these thickers were great although the adhesive was so much that it actually left some of the um, backing of the thicker actually on the little sheet so I had to use a glue, little bit of glue to get that adhered down. But we're playing with thickers so prompt number three is to mix and match your letter stickers. Now you might not be using thickers you could even be using letter cutouts from your silhouette or uh, other die cut machine but it's so great to mix and match the fonts, the sizes, and the colors. Um, I'm using this one all in lowercase in the in the blue color but then I'm gonna also mix and match it with the gray but now I'm gonna use them all in uppercase I just love the look of using different different letters I think it really adds a design element to your page and it just almost like an embellishment and it just makes it so much fun I wanted to add in more of the pink that I used up top so it's perfect because it's nice and small to just have a little word in and then went back to the blue on top again all in the lowercase for the last word which is town. The title of this page is first night in town. Even though these thickers were nice and sticky I still wanted to make sure that they were adhered down so after I did get my title on I did go run them through my sewing machine and stitched all the letters on. want to be extra secure. Something I hadn't pulled out at the beginning was this wood veneer frame. I love these little frames. I think they're so cute and when I uh, saw that there was this date one I decided to go ahead and put it in there because I do want to date this page. It was the first night that we were at the beach this summer and so I want to make sure that we were I definitely wanted to have that recorded, especially since I'll probably scrapbook a million of these pictures that I took. And then I'm going to embellish my page just with some of these enamel dots from Freckled Fawn. I love that all these companies are making them. I'm sure that I could just stick with one company, but why when I've got all these new colors? I love the ombre effect on these and um, I just figured they'll be fun to use on my page. I like it because it's just a subtle little dimensional colorful embellishment. To be able to put the wood frame down I did have to pull a star paper clip out but to get it back down I just used a little bit of hot glue and just glued it straight to the frame. I'm not going to miss out on one of those. And then the frame I wanted to make sure was nice and secure too so I hot glued that down as well. Once I had my frame adhered down I decided that I needed a few more enamel dots just sprinkled here and there so I just went around the page and added different colors randomly here and there wherever it seemed like there was a little bit of emptiness. For my journaling on this page, I just wanted to record where we actually were because we tried out a new beach this year that we had never been to before. So I wanted to make sure we had that down. 
And then also just a few little things. It says, just a few quick shots while admiring the beach on our first night in town. Once my journaling was on, it really led me to my fourth prompt, which is to don't overthink it. I went searching for more embellishments and trying to figure out what else I could add, but in the end, I really was happy with where this page was. So instead of trying to make it some mammoth long process, I decided I would just stop there. And that's it. As a recap, my prompts for this week are to use black and white photos, to use a paper clip in the middle of your page, to mix and match letter stickers, and to don't overthink it. it they don't have to take forever to be perfect. I hope you enjoyed this episode of 213 and 2013. My challenge to you is to use any of these creative prompts and share your layout with us in the gallery. This is Corey Jones with Two Piece in a Bucket. Have a great one.